If you go to a place, the people who have been there for a long time, they don't have good behaviors. Only those who just entered are humble and they are, yes, but those who have been there, they are some mafias. <laughs> yes. So, I'm praying for you today that you will be humble. Yes. Don't be proud. Humility is the quality of having a modest or a low view of your own importance. And as you go on, even towards each other, there are verses in the Bible that talk about, about being humble one to the other. Develop the quality of having a modest view of your importance towards your pastors, towards your parents, your father, your mother, your auntie. Always, my advice for you is always play the fool. Have you heard that, that phrase before? Play the fool. Yes. It's one of the wisest counsels. Yeah. Play the fool. Play the side of the fool. Allow people to be wise. Allow them to be wise. Always just, just behave as if you don't know anything. And just be around. Be humble. You are going to meet things in this marriage that will make you feel proud. Always have a low, a modest view of your importance. As soon as you begin to have a sense of importance that is more than you should have, the Bible says that let no man think more highly than he ought to think. But as you go on, you will meet people who think more highly. And how will you know that you are thinking more highly than you ought to think? By how you talk. How you talk. How you talk about your father. How you talk about pastors. How you talk about people who have, been, who have only been a blessing to you. That is, you, you will know that you, you have a very high sense of importance when you have you ever heard the phrase listen to yourself yes listen to yourself speak gifty had you are a very beautiful girl very very beautiful girl but i want to remind you that there's not beauty that brings marriage yes i don't know which church you have been in but the women with wedding rings are not the most beautiful women in any church. No, 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 no. Beauty is not what gives marriage. Festus chose you for other reasons. Surely there must be women who are more beautiful than you. There must be. It can't be that you are Miss Area. <laughs> I mean, it can't be that you are Miss Area. <laughs> there must be someone in Festus's life who is more beautiful than you. We don't use beauty. Yeah. That's why it's, it go anywhere. It's that the Miss areas, Miss Accra, Miss thing, it's hard you will find that they are married. But they are beautiful, stunning looking. Festus chose you. In about 10 minutes time, you'll be missus. He caused you to exist as messes. Never, never forget. No matter how he disgraces himself before you, remember that he has caused you to exist as a married woman. Yes. And be humble. Be humble. Don't talk to him anyhow. I was counseling a couple just yesterday. And I asked them to say what the other one is doing that they don't like. The, the man said, I, I said, give me 17. The man said, I can't give you 17. I have only one. I said, oh, how? He said, Bishop, the only one to be respected. That's all. Oh. Only one. He said, everything is inside one. This one. <laughs> he said, I don't have two. He said, I don't have two. I don't have two. I don't have three. 
only one is that this woman will respect me. That's all. So as you are here saying your vows, you can't even say the vows. Your voice is like somebody from Gloucester Square. <laughs> Berkshire and Gloucester. We should see you in your elements in the house. Shout at the house help. Shout at your son. Shout at your daughter. Shout at your neighbor. But when you approach this one, you must be calm and cool because he has caused you to exist as a man. Be humble. And sometimes he may not do things that will end humility. But you, that's like your father or your mother. God would even say, Honor your good fathers, honor your mothers who don't offend you. I don't know who your mother is, but some of us, they have used frying pans to slap us. Yes. Have, you, have you been slapped the frying pan before? The pan itself, they use it. Kitchen utensils. But when they call us, even today, we stand up. When they say, come, we come. Yes. You don't honor the mothers who are nice, who give us chocolates, or the fathers who are, who, 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 who pamper us. No. Honor your father. And there's a sense in which Festus is your father. Who is a father? Who is a father? Who, who is a father? A father is someone who causes you to exist. So in your marital mess's life, he's a father. He caused you to exist as a, as a wife. Yes. And you must honor him. Not only when he is of good behavior, because it won't be very often. <laughs> Honor him as your husband. Period. The Bible says, true humility, Festus. Humility. Don't think of yourself. That's why, remember the vows. I told that this woman, she stands by your side. She's not under your feet to talk to you anyhow. <laughs> one, one husband <laughs> was accusing his wife in the afternoon. I think two days ago, three days ago. She's not had her bath. Just talking to the woman, anyhow, you've not had your bath. And it, the woman went to have her bath. She, he wanted, he, the, the wife said, the husband sat in the one in the chair from morning till night. He didn't move except going to the washroom. He, did, he didn't bath. He ate three meals sitting in a chair. <laughs> By the night, the whole room was smelling. But he would not see his own. <laughs> I thought he would not see what his own. It is his wife's own that he can see. His wife's own in the afternoon. When his own is worse at night, that some people like that they don't see their own. I pray that you be humble. God is going to make you great. God is going to make you rich. God is going to honor you. Watch it. People are going to respect you. People younger than you, people older than you, yeah. you will sit and counsel people older than you. You watch it. Write it somewhere. People will respect you. But don't let it make you big. And once, once again, Festus, now I'm talking to you. One of the ways to know that humility, true humility has departed from you is how you talk about people who have only been good to you. How you do. Always listen to yourself. When you are in your house and you are talking to your wife and you say, uh, uh, has dad come? Dad, you see, is, is, dad, is dad preaching? Ah, listen to yourself. Always listen to yourself. Your own voice will betray your pride. Your own voice will betray one of them, Webster defined, I was shocked, Webster defined humility as being free of arrogance. I tell you, I'm like, arrogance is, is, a, is a prison. I pray that you be free. Yes. Talk to your wife nicely. I said, always listen to yourself. One way to know that you are humble is to listen to yourself. <laughs> 